Welcome back to the Canon Kids Puppet Show. It's been an incredible month here so far. We've been discovering how creative God is and see how he made us to be creative too. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. It's pretty great to know that we're made in God's image because, well, God is great. It's impossible for us to understand how truly great God is. You might say he's indescribable. That's right. This week, we're going to be looking into the passage from Matthew 5, 13 to 16 about salt and light. This week's bottom line is that God created you to share his story. Let's watch the video for this week. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Maya's letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope. Salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings worked quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly, or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one about salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits, you know. The cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach. And pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, 
They put it on his stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus, by showing God's love to others. When we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm gonna put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would have came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. Jesus told the people listening to the Sermon on the Mount about letting a lamp shine to everyone in a house instead of hiding it away. This works for you too. You can use your gifts and talents to point others to Jesus. God created each and every one of us for a reason. A part of that is sharing his love with others. Exactly. God created you to share his story. We can shine the light of God's love when we treat others with love and kindness. We can use our creativity to point others to God. We can show people what a difference he has made in our lives with the way we live every day. Let's pray and ask God to help us live his way. Dear God, thank you for creating us in your image. It's so cool how you created us to be like salt and light as we share your story with others. Please help us treat people with respect and kindness every day. We want our lives to show all that you've done for us. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. That wraps up our theme of creativity for the month. Next week, we'll be learning about friendship. We'll see you all then. Bye, everyone. Hi boys and girls. Hi boys and girls. Nice Hello. to see you again. Boys and girls, God's story is good news for everyone. And with God's help, we can share that good news with others. How do we do that? We can tell other people about God. We can share all that he's already done for us and we can tell them how much God loves them. But we can also show them that's what it means to be salt and light. When we're kind to others, we're showing them that God is kind. When we're patient with other people, we're showing them that God is patient. And when we love people, we're showing them that God loves them more than they could ever imagine. Thank you so much, Ms. It isn't just the words you God made you his image. That means you can use your creativity to share his story in all kinds of ways. You can share his story with art, music, or even just being a good friend. Whatever gift or talent God gave you, you can use it to share his story with others. And there's no limit to the ways you can share his love with others. You, you can use the creativity God gave you to love others and give them a glimpse of who he is. Thank you, Miss Tara. So guys, remember the memory verse, Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. That's from Psalms 145 verse three. Remember, God is greater than any problems that we have and he created you to share his story. So remember to show God's love with our actions, not just your words. So as you go into the new school year, remember God is with you and you can show your love by reaching out to others with your actions. And don't forget, crazy hat or hair contest. You still have time to enter. And just to let you know, this is going to be our last contest for a little while. 
So get in and join this contest and we are going to pick four great winners. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Karen. All right, boys and girls, it's that time again. Put your left hand up, put your right hand up and we put them together and our heads are down and our eyes are closed. Let's pray. Father in heaven, you are good and you are holy and you are mighty and you are in control of all things. Nothing surprises you, Lord. It just makes sense that we would trust you because you know what's going to happen. Lord, as we get ready for a new school year, help us to walk boldly knowing that you are with us. Help us to be calm knowing that you are with us and help us to trust in you as we go into a school year that looks a little bit different than the other school years. Please bless our teachers. Please bless our students. Please bless our parents. And Father, please inspire us to find new ways to show others who you are in this time and in the other seasons to come. Inspire us, Lord, to be creative and show others how loving, and patient and compassionate and kind you are. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Miss Sarah. All right, guys, we will see you in a week's time. Bye. Have a good week. Bye.